In 1993, my father was elected president of Nigeria. He came with a platform that said, hope, farewell to poverty. When I first heard the story of Kudrat Abiola from Hafsat, I saw that this was a story of a woman who had sacrificed everything for her country. And that was an incredibly inspiring story to be able to tell. And then to be able to look at her legacy and the passing on of that legacy to a new generation of women, human rights and democracy activists in Nigeria was a tremendous opportunity. My mother was the leader of the pro-democracy movement in Nigeria. Because of our efforts to protest the military's continued dictatorship, she was assassinated. My parents paid um, the price, and I want to make sure that what they died for was not in vain. This, um, what is cultural practice and what is historical practice is killing our women. But if the more women come out, the, they can share their pain, share their sorrow, express their needs. And it will take a while because culture takes a while to change, but the change will be inevitable. The mothers were set up to compete against each other. It's often in the man's interest to do that because it's easier to control a household with four women that are divided than four wives that are united. To play that game that says we women are divided just supports a patriarchal culture. There is no value in women fighting each other. What we should be fighting is the oppression of women. Hafsa recognizes that women have rights that they have been for so long denied. I wanted to empower the strongest voices for change as soon as possible. And so I created Kodorat Initiative for Democracy. I wanted to begin to challenge the notion of what is a successful life, which I think is important because, you know, I do believe that for Nigeria to move forward, we need to be more willing to make sacrifices to bring about the changes that are needed. And if people are feeling that those that make sacrifices are wasting their lives, well, we're not going to have um, a, a critical mass doing that. So we need to get people to realize that you can, you're not wasting your life if you commit your life to transforming your country for the better. Well, it's not just an issue of empowering women. It's an issue of bringing peace to unstable parts of the world through empowering women. So being able to discuss that connection and have a film that illustrates that potential is a powerful tool. If what they were hoping to do was to silence the voices of Nigeria's women who were demanding change, I would make sure that my mother's voice was not made silent by even one day. Hey, you know,